This episode's a little different, talking about the Aperture Spotlight Mount. This episode is going to be a little different, a little bit more of a conversation, not really an in-depth review, but I wanted to talk about the Aperture Spotlight Mount, which they sent over to me a couple months ago. I've had it in several of my videos over time here and looking forward to experimenting with it more, especially for interviews, for like my corporate videos and things of that nature. What is the Spotlight Mount? First of all, in the industry, this is often referred to as a Leco light, um, sometimes a spotlight, but Generally, what you can use it for is to make very distinct patterns, and you can also focus the lens. So you can throw it out of focus if you want to as well. It does have a gobo slot, so you can drop gobos in, which gobo stands for go-between. It is usually a patterned, in this case, a piece of metal that has a pattern cut into it, and it allows you to cast a pattern up on the wall or even right on your subject if you want to do something very highly stylized. Before we go any further, I want to kind of highlight something that we basically showed in the time lapse at the start. I understand this is a kind of an expensive accessory. Most people can't afford this that are starting out or self-funding projects and things of that nature. Once you start getting up into cases where you're getting paid and you have a little bit more cash to work with on the budgets that you're working with, this is where something like this starts to make sense. But what really struck me as I kind of started putting my thoughts together for this is that I really like the Aperture COB lights for one big reason, and that is versatility. If you're just getting started and you save, you know, you save your pennies and you're able to buy one of the Aperture COB 120s, for example, the great thing about this light is you can expand it to do so many different things over time. So obviously you can use it as a spotlight directly out of the box with the included reflector. When you get to a point where you want to use a nice soft key, you can actually just bounce the light off of a piece of foam core board or poster board directly out of the box or when you are when you have the budget. And I think these are very affordable for what you're getting, the soft boxes. They have both the Light Dome and the Light Dome Mini. And these produce a beautiful soft key light. I use them all the time in my corporate work. But not just that, you can do hard light. And that's the thing with something like a panel, an LED panel. You can never really make an LED panel hard light. It will always be soft light. There's nothing you can do to change that, really. And that can be still, I mean, that can be a versatile light, but not nearly as versatile as this, where you have the soft options, but you also have the hard options, the barn doors. You have the Fresnel, and now you have the spotlight. You can also use the COB with their new lantern, which also gives you another option for bringing up the ambient in an entire room, or to use it as an overhead in sort of a dialogue scene maybe around a table where two characters are talking to each other, even more characters than that. It also has a skirt so you can keep the light from spilling everywhere and maybe just have it fall directly over the table. So now that Aperture is maturing, you're seeing some really nice accessories come out. All these different light modifiers for their COB series of lights that make it so that you're really kind of buying into an ecosystem and you have a lot, a lot of options over time. So even if you don't have the budget for something like the Spotlight right now, totally understand. Great place to start is the COB line. If you can only buy one light for your video work, I think the COB line is a really, really good choice because over time you can adapt it to do so many different things. Now, a little bit more on the spotlight. It comes in this amazing <laughs> hard case. I don't know if we can get that in there. It also comes with gobos, as I mentioned before, and it uses a standard size. It uses type B gobos. So you can order these online already pre-made. Roscoe makes a series of them, but you can also have custom ones made. So if you have your particular pattern that you want them to cut into metal, they can do that. There are also some really cool glass gobos that give some really cool effects as well. So I'm really looking forward to 
adding some of those. Now, the spotlight also comes with different options for the beam angle on the lens. This particular one is the 19 degree. That's the tightest one. You're gonna get the most light, concentrated light output. Um, so it can be the absolute brightest from a technical standpoint. And also it allows you to focus the patterns or the just the circle very, very sharply. And so if that's the kind of look you're going for, that's cool. You can also buy the 36 or the 26. The 36 is going to cast the largest pattern of light on the, say on a wall, for example, at the same distance versus the 19 or the 26. So if you're really looking for being able to throw light in a bigger splash or a bigger pattern behind the talent, then that's probably a better option for you. The light output isn't quite as concentrated as it is on the 19 degree, but you still get a lot of light output because that lens is really kind of concentrating the light. So look forward to some additional things that we're gonna do with this light. Oh, there's one other thing I wanna show you. Stand by. I'm just gonna kind of pass my hand in front of this. Check this out. So in any case, this looks like a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to using it a lot more. You'll hear about it more as we do more lighting videos in the future. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And we'll be back with you with more videos very soon. Get out there and make some great sound and make some good lighting designs too. Bye.